In this episode, we're going to laugh, we're going to cry, and we're going to die. A lot. Alright, so according to the wiki, right here outside Draenor Village, which is just to the west of Lumbridge, where our respawn, bleh, respawn point is, there's a hole with the zombies in it that are pretty low level. Okay, it lied. <laughs> that is a very high level zombie. I'm pretty sure he's also aggressive, because why wouldn't he be? Yep, just as I thought. That is a very aggressive man. Alright, we're gonna go find somewhere else. Okay, so it turns out if you go in through the other side, there are these low-level ones just flopping around, so... Alright, let's see how this goes. They are just smacking me way harder than I'm hitting them. Yeah, we may need to, uh, figure something else out, because that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work at all. So I've decided to make an addendum that you probably already know because I put it in episode one, but I'm just discovering right now. So, once we unlock a Slayer monster via a task, like, for example, the rats that we got for our very first task, we can slay that monster as much as we want and then use whatever drops we get to fuel our escapades. So... Because we unlocked giant rats, we will have a food source, so that way we can fight things without getting absolutely destroyed by monkeys and dwarves and everything else. So I'll see you when I have a full inventory of cooked rat meat and we'll go take on those zombies again. Well, on the last rat I was like, alright, it's just you and me, rat. We're just, we're going at it. And I died. So, <laughs> time to take the run of shame into death's domain. Hello, I see you have a grave store. Do you want to tell me about it? Yeah, just give me all my shit. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> all right, and I'm getting yelled at. Hey, who said you could use that? Um, do I have to... What am I to do? Nice hat. Uh, thank you. Cool, can I use your fucking oven now? That I complimented your hat. What the hell? All right. So I can either do a quest for this man, or d do nothing at all. Go cook it somewhere else on, like, a fire or something. Hey, there we go. I don't need your stupid range. I can just cook it right here in the fireplace. <laughs> I'll bet nobody's ever done this. They're like, are you insane? <laughs> There's an oven in the other room. Yeah, well, you know what? He wasn't letting me use it, so I'm going to use the Duke's fireplace. <laughs> See if I care. <laughs> oh, no. I can't believe it. What, you're telling me it's hard to cook things in an open fireplace with no cooking utensils whatsoever? Somebody should have told that to Gordon Ramsay when he was making that grilled cheese. Alrighty, we are back. We have gotten quite a few levels. Um, let me show the stat page. So we got some defense levels hit points, uh, I think one strength, some prayer while we were farming those rats, and then cooking of course we got a full inventory of meat so we can head to our zombie nemesis and take them on and kill like one or two and then be <laughs> destroyed alright this is gonna suck let's do it alright let's try to run past this asshole guard and quickly drop down here get down there Get down there. All right, nice. All right, you MRFer, I'm back with a vengeance, an inventory full of rat meat that heals three. You think you can take me down when I can heal threes? I don't think so. Unless I keep hitting zeros and then you absolutely can. Look at these floppy fools. <laughs> They're Kingdom Hearts feet. Man, my defense is up, but I might as well be wearing tissue paper, because they can just hit right through it. Food break. Ouch. 
As you can tell on the top left, I am not cooking. Look at this guy. He looks way better than most other character models. Also, he's huge. Are you sure he's human? This is from when they updated some of the monsters in 2007 Scape. But then for the people, they were just like, nah, just let it go. Turn them back into beep boop old school models. Oh my gosh, can you imagine flinching this guy? This is taking long enough when I'm fighting him one on one with a fast speed dagger out in the open. Okay, there you go. Monumental Slayer level here, and also a Renar weed. If I remember correctly, that makes prayer potions. Awesome. But yeah, with seven Slayer, we can do cave bugs. So, that's a thing. If we go, uh, if we go find them, we have access to their drop table now. The only problem I'm thinking of is a light source right now. How do I get one? <laughs> only a handful of zombies defeated, and I used my entire inventory of food already. This is pretty miserable. So I'm just gonna fight until I drop, and then I'll go slay more rats and get more meat. So I've been thinking about the situation, and what I've come to the conclusion of is that we need an upgrade. As much as I love the bronze med helm that we got, we need this if we're going to continue. It's a classic Slayer item. It looks pretty neat. It reduces our attack bonuses, but it gives us some good defense. But more importantly, it's going to protect us from a certain enemy that's barring our current forward path to getting a candle. So it's a given that we're going to have to buy stuff from the store. The Slayer store especially, since that's our main source of being able to deal with the Slayer monsters. As far as other stores, I'm still not 100% sure. It's going to depend on whether or not this candle thing is going to work out or not. Hey, check this out. Some free food just waiting right there. All I have to do is not zero on this rat, and I can get something for free. Hey, there we go. Nice. Ooh, it heals pretty good. Thanks, sandwich lady. So, this is interesting. I just got a clue scroll drop from these rats. I mean, if I'm absolutely garbage on drops from monsters, this might be a fun way to increase my arsenal. Okay, I decided since it's monster loot, it's fair game, so we can do these clue scrolls. Well, hey, that's handy. Didn't have that in 2007, <laughs> but it made my life easier. Except I had tip.it back then, too, so there you are. Well done. Wow, you walked over to me. You did so good. Oh, what is this now? In a place where there's a fish, a giant fish. There are also t t trees, or triangles, and a big-ass rock. So all of you already know this because it's laid out in episode one, but I'm literally making up the rules as I go along here. The things in the general store are fine for me to buy. I'm going to need a tinderbox eventually so I can get into the cave to fight the cave bugs. There's no easy way for me to get a spade and a tinderbox, and it's just cutting me out of so much content, so we're going to have to just bite the bullet and we'll say general stores are okay, slayer stores are okay, but equipment stores and things of that nature are not okay. I want to get all my equipment from either drops or the slayer store. Oh, it even shows me where to dig. How handy. Clue scrolls have gotten way easier. Nice, we already completed our first clue. <sighs> this could be the biggest upgrade on the account so far, or absolute garbage. I can't wait to find out. Rune scimitar ornament kit? And some leather chaps? And some fire runes, nice! Is this our upgrade? Nice. <laughs> I, I didn't notice, but chaps literally have a giant hole down the side. But in, I'm obviously not wearing pants, I'm wearing a skirt, so when I put this on, it just, it's just like, yeah, you put on some orange pants, and then the chaps. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, <laughs> that's, that's the best censoring I've ever seen. I'm so happy about this new upgrade. So with this, we might be able to stand a little bit of more of a chance against these harder monsters, like zombies, that nobody in the history of this game has ever had problems with before now. So the chaps have helped only very marginally. I'm still getting absolutely dumpstered by the most basic of enemies, so 
It's gonna be a while till we can hold our own against literally any enemy at all. Another Slayer level coming in hot. Let's see if I can fight something new. Nope. But I'm getting a ton of herbs, so maybe I could go start Druidic Ritual after this. Alright, since this is our last guy, should we fight the level 24, see what we can do? With prayer flicking? Nah, it's fine. I'll just find another loser one. Hey, we actually managed to beat one. Not bad. Alright, for the next guy... I'll just leave prayer on the whole time, see what we can do. Well, <laughs> we did what we could. All right, now to slip death some fives and grab all our stuff again. Oh, whoops, my prayer was on still. I thought it would turn off because a, I ran out, and B, I died, but apparently that wasn't the case. So I was uh, gearing up to fight some more zombies when this guy popped up. Hey, Waifu Slayer 69. I love that name. The teacher wants you to come to school for a test. What school? I've been out of school for like 10 years now. Sure, I'll take your exam. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this Fucking guy. Okay, on to the main content. Oh, he's in the corner because he's a dunce. You've been slacking in your studies. It's time for an exam. What? What study? Is this because I haven't been doing magic? There are two times of questions. One requires you to find the next object in a pattern. Second one, I'll present you with 15 cards and a hint. Discover three cards related to the hint and then select confirm. Send the hint on the right to find the three objects related to it. Hey, there we go. That frog mask almost messed me up. I didn't know what that was. Cup, beer, bottle, beer. Nice. A lump of shit, a square. Oh, a uh, pickaxe. Hell yeah. That sweet guitar riff. It was awesome. I'll get some health back. Oh, wait, I was at full health. Damn it, I wasted that. Nice. A book of knowledge. <gasps> oh, it's like a genie lamp. How come I can't do construction? You must own a house to choose that option. Oh, that sucks. How about rune crafting? I hate rune crafting. You need to complete rune mysteries to. Oh, man. Herblore? Can I just save it? Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna save it. Another inventory of rat meat. I just hope that we're going to be able to get a different Terslayer monster that gives us some better healing at some point, because man, this is pretty miserable fighting rats, getting a full inventory and then burning half of it, you know what I mean? I accidentally burned the meat. Look at how many I cooked in a row. It seems like I unpurposefully burned the meat. Just to annoy me. The Duke's gonna come downstairs one day and he's like, Why does my fireplace smell like cooked rats? <laughs> well, some of your items can't be stored. I can't store the book? Well, that's, uh, interesting. Very interesting. Annoying is the word that I would use, but also interesting. I actually remembered my enchanted gem this time. Only 24 more to go. Let's see how this goes. Ouch. <laughs> They're like, nothing like a free hit. It's like, I'm getting rid of your zombie problem, dude. Better rein in that macing. So I'm getting some sweet iron arrow drops, which are coming in clutch for some range training if I can ever get a hold of a bow. Which, <laughs> unlikely, but it could happen someday. Another Slayer level under the belt. And we can now fight cave crawlers. All we need to do is get a hold of a candle and then we can fight all of these things and get their drops for a while. I just found the king of the imps over here. He's got a little crown on. Have they always had crowns? Or did I accidentally find their king? Talk to me. 
talk to me and give me your boon. Okay, or not, that's fine. So I was re-gearing after some zombies and look what I found. Another clue scroll. This could mean a big upgrade or it could mean some absolute garbage. Let's find out. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for Whoa, were these crates always here? Did they smash a hole in this fence? Nice. Oh, hey, there's a bear. So at some point, we need to beat a bear for the druidic ritual quest. But for now, I'm going to leave it alone. Because there's a chance I can get a bear as a slayer task. Wait. Pizzars. Another clue! Taunt roof. <laughs> Apparently they're in Draenor Village. Thanks, clue helper. Oh hey, look at that, another clue! Hey, this one's actually pretty close by. Alright, the moment of truth. Is it yet another clue scroll, or a... Are these birds flying in a square? <laughs> it reminds me of when people were following each other back in the day making weird shapes. <gasps> Here it is, next gear upgrade right here. Bam! Oh, that's actually huge! Okay, normally this would be an absolute dog shit garbage reward, but for me, this is absolutely an upgrade. That is amazing! I am sure this is the first time anybody has called either of these items amazing. The fast weapon and the strong weapon. Whoa! I have never been happier to hold steel in my hand in my entire life. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs>